Okay, guys, so here you've got the controller. And to turn it on and off right here, this will also turn the scoreboard off afterwards. So you don't have to flip the switch at the scoreboard. It will automatically turn itself off over, I think, like a two or well, a minute, it looks like it took a minute to lay. So it'll turn itself off completely out there as well. So then to turn it, turn it on, go ahead and hit that button. The scoreboard now has lit up the whole thing. Here. Okay. All right, so in order to clear the game, uh, you're going to go to home. Or I'm sorry, menu. A new game. Start a new game. All the data will be cleared. We'll go ahead and hit yes. And say so the whole scoreboard has been cleared now. The time here in the middle doesn't really matter for our games, but you can set a timer. And, so just don't worry about that for now. Okay. So if you uh, want to change the names of the um, teams, you go over here to where their score is. And you say team name. And you edit the team name here. So... We'll leave it as SC, but you do that by, I think, backspacing here. And then you can hit the letter. Let's just use H. And let's see if we have to go to another letter. And you hit next. And then the letters all change. So we'll do HR. Okay. When you're done, you can hit done here. And it changes that to HR. Same with this one here. Edit team name right here. Go to edit. We'll go back here. We'll go uh, backspace. And we'll type in, we'll do SC for now. So we'll go next S, previous C. You go to SC, you hit done and SC has been changed. So it's HR versus SC. Now, anytime run score will stay at the same thing, you come up here to the score. You can either do one, two, three, or four uh, runs. At any given at bat, the most that can be scored is a grand slam. So that's why they have the plus four. So if uh, for whatever reason your score was to, to get messed up, you can hit edit score. Let's just put in, we're gonna visit, we're gonna edit the home score. So it's going to be down here. If we wanted to edit the visitor score, we'd go up here. What you do, we'll edit the score here by hitting visitor edit. We'll add a one. Okay. We'll go to home. Oh, let's go back to visitor. Let's go to one. Let's go to home. Let's do a one there. Oh. Let's see if it takes both of them. Yes, it did. One to one now. Okay. That's up at the scoreboard right now. So, um, so there's one to two now. I added another one in there. So if I added, wanted to add another one, next, you got three. Score again, they get two, goes to five. Now, if you get too many on there, I think you can edit the score again. You go, you ch pick your visitors, okay? And let's say the only one we had one and four, we hit too many. So we hit edit visitors, four, done. And that changed it back to four. There, it changed here as well. Now, let's do one more thing I want to show you on here as you edit scores. So, as you edit scores, you hit here, you can move to 
the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth innings, okay? By these by these buttons here. So let's say you need to change a couple of innings in terms of the right score. You can go left and right, right there, and edit same way, and it'll edit that number, okay, for the home, for example. Same with the visitor. So if we want the visitor, let's say they only scored two. Let's hit done, and now two's up on the board. So now it's a total of six. This should change here. Let's see if that changes. Maybe. There. Okay, so that changed. Okay. So, uh, balls, strikes, and outs. Okay. So let's do one ball. You get one pitch, right? Strike. Okay. Two pitches. Another strike. Two pitches. Now, what if they foul the ball off? What do I do? Well, if I foul the ball off, you want to go to pitch, you want to do plus one. Boom. Um, if they get a hit, you want to do the same thing, right? So you either want to go pitch plus one, and then what you want to do for here is you want to clear that. Okay? Now, let's say, let's say they get a uh, strikeout. So let's go one two, three, it automatically gets the outs, okay? Now, let's say they got a, a one, two count. Kid hits the ball, but he gets out. You're going to have to do one pitch, add an out, and clear the, uh, and clear the, uh, the count, okay? So, inning goes forward. Um, let's get the third out here. Oops. Okay, the inning switches over. Pitch count now goes for this team. Okay. We'll go two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Strikeout. Let's do one, two, hit. So we're going to have to do pitch count over here. So kid hits the ball. Add a pitch. Kid gets out. Get an out. Next batter up. We're going to clear that and get started with the next batter. Okay. Um, let's do uh, one pitch. Okay. And uh, kid gets out. Hits into an out. We go now back to the next inning. Right. So. Um, Let's go in here and let's say they make a change to the pitcher. So if you go here to pitch count, edit pitch count. This is the home team's pitch count. If you want to edit the visitor's pitch count, you click this button. But to edit the home team's pitch count, you're going to just reset this to zero. And it goes to zero. Okay? If you want to reset the visitor's pitch count, which I usually don't do that till the inning comes up and they replace the pitcher. But you would do the same thing, um, except this would say visitor pitch count in there. Let's, let's, uh, let's, clear, let's uh, exit here. So, da, 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 exit, escape, previous, okay? So, usually this pitch count will be over here and you would do the same thing, click it. Either reset to zero, or you can go to edit the pitch count. And let's say you had the wrong pitch count in the middle of the at-bat. And you needed to adjust the pitch count. You can go in here and type in your number. Let's say they had 14 instead of 13. You just hit 14 and then enter. You do that one more time. So I'm going to do it for the, these guys so you can see over here. So they have zero right now. Pitch count. Edit pitch count. Let's say they have 10 instead of 0. And enter. It now goes to 10. But let's say we need to adjust it from 10 to 11 for whatever reason. Pitch count. Edit pitch count. 11. And enter. It goes to 11. Okay. 
So that's how you enter and adjust the pitch counts during at bats and uh, in between innings so that it's easy. Um, the at bat, you don't need to do this because we don't have anything that uh, pertains to that on our scoreboard yet. Um, and hits, you don't have to do that as well um, because that doesn't matter as well either. It would, and this would actually, I think, correlate to pitches. But instead of doing that, I would think the other way that I shared was the easiest. Um, if, uh, what else is there? I think that's it. Go home. I don't think there's anything. This is the home screen menu. Let's see here. Let's just look at the brightness. Yeah. You can dim it if you want it at night or keep it bright. It's your call. Battery's good. New game, good. That's where you start a new game. Yeah, you don't have to do anything here. You're good. Okay. So that's how you work the controller at Montressor Field. Have fun. Play ball. If you have any questions, uh, take a look at the video. Uh, Practice before the game, and then you should be good to go. Stopping stops the time. Starting starts the time, which, again, we don't have to do those things. Um, but we are good. So we'll go to home or menu, I'm sorry, new game. All the data will be cleared. Yes, and you're back to a brand new game. That's the other way to get restarted and go through here and pull everything back up and get it going. Power down, hold for three seconds, and you're good to go. Thanks, guys and gals. I uh, hope you have fun playing baseball at State College Little League.